Hello, hello, hello. We got a new patch today. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? How often do we get... How often do we get updates for StarCraft? It's crazy. That's unheard of. It's unheard of. <laughs> something, something, something. The ancient texts. Hey, Jasmine Owl. Hey, Kale. Hey, Parla G. Good to see you. You shall watch and learn. But the beautiful thing is you can no longer chain. The thing is you can't chain Interference Matrix anymore. And it's easier to spam it out now. So while people might try to use that against your BCs, the reality is it's better. It, it makes it less risky to send an early BC in against Terran. Because what they would do previously is interference matrix you, and then you can't even teleport away. Because by the time that you would try to do that, they would just cast it again, and you'd be stuck. But because it has to go away temporarily, now it's a lot easier So you're always going to be guaranteed some small fraction of a second to cast the teleport now. So, in that way, it's a huge buff. Hey, Doctor. Yeah, so in a roundabout sort of way, it's a battle cruiser buff. It's a lot of a uh, lot of interesting things. A lot of interesting things. And apparently McDonald's is going to start selling Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, I actually can't wait for that. That's That might be... There was some crazy news today. Crazy stuff happening everywhere. But the, the McDonald's news, as far as non-bad news goes... Hey, I, I do like donuts. There's no donut place near me. There's no There's nowhere near me that I could go get a donut. But there is a McDonald's. So now that means I'll be able to get donuts. That's it. That's my big exciting news of the day. I think the earnings report is supposed to be out in 20 minutes. That's really, it's really about it. Not much else going on. I ordered, I ordered some dedicated uh, desk hand towel thingies from Amazon for uh, the mouse, and they're actually the perfect size. I really like them a lot. But I got, a, I got a bunch of those in, so it's kind of nice not using. I'm not using our, our nice dish towels or anything anymore for my for my hand towels over here. I've got a dedicated setup. I was able to get I got rid of the arms. I noticed I noticed something was driving me crazy about my desk and I couldn't put I couldn't place my finger on it for so long. And I finally realized that the front of the desk was tilting up towards me because of A how old it was and B I have like I still have two or three things clamped on the back. So I'm gonna, un my, my goal is, un I've been unclamping everything. I've been going back to regular desk stands, basically. I've been going back to like regular, regular computer monitor desk stands. So I set that up again. Both of the monitors are on it normally. It already feels more even. There's still a few things on the back side, but I, I do think I got the heaviest thing off the back. So that's been nice. I took, you guys know you guys know what this is, right? You guys know what one of these one of these bad boys is. Yeah, I took I took one of these guys. I took one of these guys and I put it on the desk and I was like, you know, if I did it normally, I could see that there's still I don't know, maybe that's just the alignment of the building or whatever. But it look it's pretty even actually. It's pretty even. 
I had it, I had it on the mouse pad there. There was something under it. So it was pretty even. But when I turned it sideways, that was when I that was when I realized, yeah, it's still it's still tilting up. It's still tilting back a smidge. But I have to push the desk down a little bit now to get it to go to even on the level. So there you go. My plan is I'm going to get every I'm going to unhook the lights next. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them in the room. But I'm going to do the lights. And then the next thing I'm going to do, well, I don't think the camera, I don't think the camera is causing the problem. The camera is the only thing that I, I'll leave mounted to the desk like that. But aside from that, not too much else going on. Wouldn't they need somewhere close that produces those donuts in order to stock them at McDonald's? Yeah, my guess is that they're probably going to use the equipment already at McDonald's to make them. Or they're going to provide some amount of equipment in like a partnership. Right, if you like think about from a business perspective, how a deal like that might work. Obviously, it's increasing revenue for Krispy Kreme because they now gain access to every McDonald's location in the country. But obviously, there's way more McDonald's than there are Krispy Kremes. So hypothetically speaking, there's no way that all these Krispy Kremes could be supplying all of these McDonald's, especially when the number one reason why anybody gets Krispy Kreme in this country. What you need to know about Krispy Kreme as a brand is that they are known for their hot and fresh glazed donuts. That's like, that is the thing. The whole point is that they have a big neon sign that they only turn on right when they're coming out of the oven. And that's their number one driver of business. So if you ask me, the only logical, the only logical way to, to do this partnership with another business would be that they need some amount of equipment that allows them to make a few at a time they're probably expecting a low volume, but I'm guessing that they've got some sort of machine, some big ass machine that they're just gonna ship to every McDonald's and they're gonna say, you put this stuff in and the hot glazed donut comes out when they order it. Will it be as good as coming straight from an actual Krispy Kreme? Probably not. Will it still be pretty good anyway? Probably. The difference of course, again, is there's no Krispy Kreme within any kind of drive of where I live. But I can walk to a McDonald's, so now I can get donuts. And that, that is nice. Not that I really need to be eating lots of donuts, but now that I have the option to, I feel happy anyway. I think that's what the word freedom is supposed to mean. It's like having the ability to choose between multiple things that you like and not being forced to pick one. That's kind of how, that's kind of how I see it anyway. How much does a Big Mac cost? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't go to McDonald's that often. It's just there is one very close to me. And if I could get donuts there, then I probably would go there more often. I'm crazy like that. Absolutely loco. I'm going to do a co-op game to warm up. You two like having the option to eat large amounts of Krispy Kremes? You get it. It's like five eighty-five. Mm. Yeah, the only thing I know about McDonald's is every day on the app you can get buy one get one for like a dollar or something. So the only times we go there, we just do that. Katie gets. Katie will get like a bacon McDouble. And I'll get a McChicken or something, and then that's that's about it. Yeah, prices prices vary a lot in America. Like if you go if you go somewhere with like really low cost of living and income, like Kentucky, you're gonna find everything is dirt cheap there. Cause nobody makes any money over there. But if you were to compare the prices of that to that's you know another McDonald's in like downtown San Francisco. It's probably going to be a pretty big difference in price. You watch them being made, yeah. Yeah, there was a there was a Krispy Kreme. There was a Krispy Kreme in Scranton. Right across right across the bridge coming into town from Dixon City. There was a Krispy Kreme. It's one of my favorites actually. Absolutely loved going there. Absolutely loved going there. They were right across the street from a pizza place, so anytime that we got donuts, anytime that we got donuts, my dad would get a dozen. He'd be like, all right, you guys can each pick two. 
You know, they were so a total four of us, or I think each three. There were four of us. We each got three donuts. It was awesome. I mean, we're all like, again, all right, we're three boys aged probably, what, 12, 13, and 15, so. At that age, you putting it down, putting it away. Could I eat three donuts right now if I had to? I mean, if you really put the pressure on, you told me I'd be saving my wife's life, I think I could manage. It'd be really hard. It'd be really difficult. But I think, I think that if the President of the United States called me and said, Nathan, you gotta eat these three donuts or we're all gonna die. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Why am I building a barracks? I'm playing, I'm playing Mech Stukov. What am I doing? Yeah, it's good times. Yeah, the, pri the price varies pretty heavily. I don't, I don't know what the cost of that stuff is. The cost of a McChicken out here is like $3 though. It's highway robbery. It's highway robbery. $3 for a McChicken. In 2008, that was, again, again, that was like, that was a full dinner. My dad would take, my dad would take us through the McDonald's drive-thru with 10 bucks. We get five McChickens and five double cheeseburgers. That was it. Everybody got two. Everybody got two. Anthony got three. Dad got three. Because they were older. That was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. When I become president, I promise you guys, I will use the entire force of the military to drive the price of a McChicken back to one dollar. No matter what it takes. No matter what it costs. We will get dollar McChickens back. What else? Oh yeah, snack wraps. Katie liked the snack wraps. We gotta get snack wraps back too. An apocalypse is ready for spawn. Our enemies provoke us. We will answer. Can't believe they took dollar McChickens from us. Yeah, exactly. Well, them Zerglins bouncing. Yeah, they dropped a they dropped the patch today. It's pretty big. It is, it is a pretty big patch. It is rather sizable. It is a rather sizable update to the game. I think it's one of the biggest patches StarCraft 2 has ever had. We didn't quite end up getting all the initial changes that they talked about though. That's the only thing that sucks. Is the patch out now while the season's still ongoing? How does it impact tournaments? I don't know. I don't have any involvement with StarCraft tournaments, but I'm, I'm sure the people involved are working on it, and if I were you, I would not be concerned. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. Let's just get all the tank upgrades. It's going to be Banelink, Scourge, Viper, Swarm Host. Okay, okay, yeah. So lots of, lots of big pressure from that side. And hi, 234. Good to see you. Love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. the rocks can't believe they, they took they took him man we're gonna get him back it's gonna happen 
billionaires will realize that taking Dollar McChickens away was the biggest mistake they ever could have made. You gotta train to catch commanders. You don't wanna miss it, do you? How much you think a how much you think a Krispy Kreme donut is gonna go for at a McDonald's when a McChicken is three bucks? You think they're gonna sell you the do you think they're gonna try to sell you a whole donut for two dollars? Probably. Right? They probably, probably like buck seventy nine. Disgusting. Summon the big boy. Big Mac with two donuts for buns. Bro, if I could get a six piece chicken nugget with a glazed donut and just jam all the nuggets into the donut, I am. Who knows what kind of weird stuff people will come up with now. You see this, you see this like new cursed abomination uh, KFC's got? They're selling, they're selling a uh, chicken with, they're, sell, they're selling like a, like a mozzarella marinara fried chicken breast. I heard they're using Heinz ketchup for the marinara sauce on the chizza. It's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. The pizza chicken. Your scientists were more concerned with whether or not they could than whether or not they should. It is a tale as old as time. Four twenty, siege him. But I think there's new maps today. I do think we got new maps. The armory is cheaper. The Widowmine got nerfed, but I mean, probably in a, in a pretty fair way. The Cyclone did get nerfed a lot. The Raven got nerfed a little bit, but the Raven also kind of got buffed. It'll be, it'll be easier to use. You can use Rapid Fire for Interference Matrix now. That said, you can't stack Interference Matrix anymore. You can't chain it, so. It's better in some situations, worse in others. Worse against single targets that you're trying to lock down a couple of times. Better against targets that you're trying to, that you're worried about overkill on. Pretty substantial, pretty substantial changes to the game. Come on now. I got the tank thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Did they keep? No, 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 no. They did not. All, all they did with the cyclone was make it attack slower, and they gave it the health, the health increase. But we're not, we're not going to be using cyclones anymore. They are, they've been, they've been removed from the game more or less. They, they made them into this version nobody wanted, and then they nerfed, then they nerfed the new version heavily. So it's just, yeah. No, my hype for the cyclone is completely dead. The uh, council absolutely, absolutely ruined the cyclone, but that's, it's so small compared to everything else. Battle cruisers are better, so I don't really, I don't really have much to complain about. Now, all, all the cool stuff we did with the cyclone and the PTR, all, no, we're not going to be able to do any of that. That all got patched out. Yeah, sadly. The Balance Council saw my games because no one else even streamed it. And they literally decided off of my own games that it was too strong. So I ruined it by streaming it. Womp womp. Self-nerf. 
And it wouldn't be the first time. I've gotten Terran nerfed a couple of times. I think the new maps are still really good. I think the armory, the armory buff is still in. The cheaper armory is still a huge, a huge change because it'll be a lot easier. Like, so cyclones aren't going to be good anymore, but we can probably still, we can probably still get like, we can probably still get like Thor, Thor drop rushes will be good again. Battle cruiser rush with attack upgrades, Banshee upgrades, etc. Plus one Hellion. There's a lot of new things. These units visually make you uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Infested Terran are terrifying. They are. They are. I mean, the giant endless rings appearing as well. I don't know that it helps. I don't know that it helps. I don't. I don't have any better way to mentally steal myself for a day. A day of getting getting a beating on the ladder when that time comes he's got some sort of thing there giving vision right it looks like perfect easy you love it swarm host used to creep you out Oh yeah, you're talking about the uh what do you have the the whole the whole phobia or whatever, all the holes in the swarm host. I mean, it looks it looks like a swarm host is straight up covered in staff infection, so I I totally get it. It's not a pretty unit to look at. What you got? Oh, that's a big wave. It's a lot of scourge too. I think we got it though. I think we're okay. Everything is fine. I do like that they fire the little zombie guys and they rotate in the air. Like, it is kind of cute. I don't know. I just love the idea of all these guys screaming, flying through the air as living explosives, you know? We, uh, we, we already knew Nathan was a little different from the rest of the kids at the park, though, so... Almost got it. Base. 
Look at my turret bringing the dudes over. Yes. All that acid. It is beautiful. It is. Oh, this is it, right? Yeah, let's go. Beautiful. Nobody can tell what's happening on the screen, but I love it. This is what I live for. This is what it's all about, guys. Did we get it? We did get it. He got the bonus train at the final second. The real question is, does it count? I think the post game screen should tell us. Did we get the bonus trains? Did we get the bonus? Only 2000. Is that as much as we're supposed to get? Your old nemesis? Your old nemesis is a speedy train? Oh, he killed 999 units. He's doing pretty well. He's doing pretty well for himself. I did a lot more damage to the train, though. Ay, ay, ay. 111,000. Look at that. 1337. I feel like I feel like I accomplished something. I feel like I accomplished something today. You were? I was? I don't have a nemesis. I don't think I've ever had a nemesis. I appreciate you swinging by, though. Welcome. Let's see. Let's see what this patch is all about. Let's give it a swing. Actually, I think... Are the maps here, too? I think we got new maps, too. Oh, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, Full Call. Appreciate it, man. That's very sweet of you, sir. Yeah, so we did get some of the new maps. We did get some of the new ones. A lot of new ones. Why do I feel like we have... You know, Golden Aura is one of the few staying. Golden Aura, Alcyon, and... We've played a good amount of these... Crimson Court's not bad. I like that one. Amphion was kind of wild. Ghost River's okay. Yeah, Oceanborn's from last season. Oceanborn's okay. Sight Delta, I think, is perhaps one of the worst maps of all time. Let me veto that one. Dynasty. Which one was this? This is one of the new ones, I think, right? Yeah, yeah I like that one. We can keep that one. We keep the new ones. Oceanborn is... It's okay. It's okay. And Alcyon is... Yeah. Mm, maybe we'll veto that one just for variety's sake, right? Golden Aura. The, la the last season maps. I'm just gonna, just gonna veto a lot of the last season maps. It's just not that exciting. No worries, friend. God bless you, man. God bless you. You know, I, I used to say a lot of crazy stuff on this stream back in the day. I most mostly just did it for money and clicks. Just just being real. Nothing nothing here is ever personal. And I hope uh I hope you know that. I appreciate it, bro. Mate or Nate. Either works for me, bro. You have this hoodie? 
I don't even know where this is from. I think I think Katie or her mom got it for me. I think it's a. I feel like it might be a con. I, think, I feel like it might be a Costco. Maybe a Costco purchase. I haven't. I didn't own any warm clothes when we moved out here since you know, I had. <laughs> I had. Very. I, I moved to L.A. with one bag of stuff. So I did not end up. Did not end up bringing my winter clothes. From my childhood, so I've picked up. I've been picking up a lot more, a lot more winter, winter slash fall wear in the last two years. Sometimes people come into my stream and they're like, oh, it's Amazon. Oh, hell yeah. Well, there you go. It's nice. But, um, yeah, Kate, Katie got it for me. I told her I like this look. Um, yeah, so I really like this. I really like this. Kind of like the little hood, the strings, you know. I got big shoulders, so it works. Our opponent is a Zerg. There's a couple of different ways you could play this. You could try to go for this. You could go for that. Is it a Shetland pony? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Katie's... Someone in somebody in Katie's family uh, left a pony to her. That is, I I I think it is. I think it is ours. It's uh, it stays it stays with somebody else that has the ability to look after a pony. But uh, yes, it is a pony. I don't know. I don't know much beyond that. I don't know much of the details beyond that. His name is Shorty. Uh, apparently, he was uh, in TV in the 90s. He's about like 25, 28 years old or something. I don't know. That's all I got. Any general advice how to play Terran? Eh, I'll always say the same thing. Everything, Everything's about repetition. Everything's about consistency in the way that you play. You know, I would just, if you're really trying to improve, try to make a note. Always always keep a notebook or a notepad when you're playing. When you feel like you make a big mistake, write it down. When you feel like you don't know why you lost, write it down. When you feel like you do know why you lost, write it down. You can give yourself a tremendous amount of stuff to look back on. And when you're struggling with people, they ask you about a game or you look back on a game, you can say... Well, this is how I felt then, and now I've had some space away from that. This is how I feel now. You know, that did does my opinion on how this game played out change if I look at the replay tomorrow instead of immediately, right? A lot of people say that looking at replays is the best way to get better, but the truth is, a lot of most people that do look at replays, you're usually looking right when the game ends and you're still in the heightened emotional state of playing. So I, I think it's a little bit counterintuitive when people say, oh, just look, just just jump straight into it. Everything's there. It's like, well, usually I would also say you got to give yourself a little bit of space. So consistent practice with measurable goals that you can actually write down and be like, hey, this is where I want to be. This is what I think is holding me back. This is what I'm going to do to try to get around what's holding me back. And then... Then, you know, there's a lot of different things. So try to find whatever the weak spots in your game are. One one really easy example would be load up your last 10 replays and just write down what time you get supply blocked. And give yourself a little bit of grace. Don't, don't just write down when you hit the 54 out of 54. But write down the moment that you try to build something and you instead get additional supply depots required. There are certain natural points where it's maybe a second or two while a depot is finishing. You don't have to be that rough on yourself, but it would it could be tremendously useful to simply look back at your games and say, well, you know, across across most of the games that I play, my first supply block happens when I'm taking my natural and trying to start my upgrades. And it doesn't matter if you know the why, because at that point you can take the next step, which is okay. I'm going to try to consciously be aware of these moments the next time that I get into a game. So I'm going to I'm going to try to consciously make the effort to be aware of the moment when I get supply blocked when I play. So if your supply blocks on average are happening at the you know the 4 minute and 40 second mark, write that down. 
Be like, okay, yeah, at, at 440, at 440, I usually am supply blocked. Okay, and put a put a sticky note on your monitor that just says 440 supply block. And uh, and eventually, what you want to do is, you can measure your progress by continuing to look over the average of all of your games and watching your own replays. You can look over at all of that stuff and then say, okay, well, I spent this much time doing this. How much progress did I make? Did I make progress? Do I feel do I feel like anything has changed? Is my average time later in the game when the first supply block hits, or does it still always happen at the same time? Et cetera, et cetera. But at that point, you know, you might need coaching or a bit of replay analysis because eventually someone's going to, you're, you're, you're going to reach a point where you're losing games and you don't know why. And obviously those times taking time away from the game can help. And then you come back to it and you might be able to see what the mistake was. But it's really important to just try and be aware of your own biases. Like just, just keep in mind a lot of these, a lot of these things are just my own methods. And I don't really try that much anymore, you know? I I hit all the goals that I had in this game, so I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like I do all those things I told you to do. Those are just the things that I did when I wanted to be a grandmaster player. And I cared a lot about it and I tried really, really hard. That's that's how I did it. So but yeah, that's it. You know, I do a lot of meme trolley stuff. I just try to have fun with the game, etc., etc. So, most of those things are not things that I really do. But if you if you're serious about wanting to improve and learning the game, then I would I would strongly recommend. I would strongly recommend you just start writing stuff down. You'll be shocked what you discover. Could really change your perspective on things. And bring the thunder and the rain. Well, Cyclones, they, they can kind of fight at least because of the HP buff. So I, I guess that's, you know, they're still, they're still like 3% better because of that, maybe. The damage loss, the damage loss on the Cyclone sucks. I, I, I do, I do, I do wish, I do wish they had kept the scaling upgrades. I doubt I doubt there's many buffs on the docket for us after after this start, so maybe they'll redesign the cyclone again in like three more patches if we're lucky. Dun, dun, dun. I think he's still kind of reeling from the BC rush, maybe. Yo, random question. 
Anybody here seen any of the Mad Max movies? Do they, do they live up to the hype? I've never seen them. I'm kind of thinking about I'm kind of thinking about checking them out. I saw Anya Taylor Joy is in one of them, and then there's there's some other actors I kind of like. I just don't really know anything about it, or really who's in it at all. Nice, beautiful, beautiful dub. That's what we like to see. Solid response, mate, Nate. You want to improve? Hell yeah. Yeah, the hardest the hardest part of giving advice is that a lot of the hardest part of, about giving advice is that truly one glove, you know, one size doesn't fit all. Like the the things that make it hard for you might be different than the things that make it hard for me. You know what I mean? Waterworld? I don't even know what that is. What's that about? I got a little piece of uh cheddar cheese over here i'm gaming Big job, huh? Huh? What's going on? you learn by beating your head against a wall mm, caveman style i like it Fury Road is amazing. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need I need to peep that. I need to peep that. Somehow, somehow I just haven't. I like that we have the little flame towers by our door now, too. It's kind of hot. Get it? Hot. <laughs> yeah, lowish. Yeah, probes can't run away from SCVs as easily as they used to on this patch, so thank God for that. He's gonna learn the hard way if he keeps dancing there. Yeah, it just doesn't work anymore. One of the best changes they've ever made to this game. Same type of thing as Mad Max. Mmm. Yeah, I've heard they're good. I've heard they're good. I've never had a conversation. I've never had a conversation with anybody about them, though. I was curious. I was curious for your thoughts. Thank you. I think I will check it out. I heard they were very good. I heard they were very good. I was just, you know, sometimes sometimes even a question like that is just me me just being like, I'm not crazy here. Everybody did like this movie, right? And I feel like feel like I did get the confirmation I needed. I do not feel uncomfortable for asking. So thank you. Thank you for making me comfortable. It really just started. Brutal.
your pickup? Oh, we are, we are cooked. What's going on? Bad news. Yeah, that plus one did not hit anywhere near fast enough. I don't think we really got any value from the Cyclones. This build, this build order is botched AF. Botched AF, boys. Yeah, no, we are soup. We are Zupa. Zupa Toscana dead. All right, GG, let's go next. Yeah, I tried to do the build I did in the PTR, but I think you guys can see the new Cyclone is just horrible. I don't think I don't think we can build Cyclones anymore. I just don't think they're good anymore at all. Fury Road. Mm. Yeah, I saw, I think I've heard there's that one and then there's one other, right? There's like two of them. I think there's like two, two of those, two of those that have come out. One of them looked like it was a little bit more recent than the other. I think Fury Road was uh, a while ago, right? I feel like I've been seeing the Furiosa ads for like years now. I feel like that's been, is that not out? I, I feel like I've been seeing that in, on TV and in ads and in stuff for like literally like over 15 months straight. Okay, so there's only one of those out. There's only one, there's only one of them. Okay. Well, hopefully I can see it before the new ones in theaters then. That'd be cool. Those movies seem like they'd be the kinds of ones that you would want to see in a theater, you know? That extra range is really good. The extra range on the SCV is really good. Definitely theater? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that's why I was asking. That's why I was asking. I secretly brought up this whole conversation just to ask you guys if there was a new Mad Max movie coming out without Googling it myself. <laughs> Fury Road is the most recent with Furiosa coming out in May. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that, Jay. I appreciate that. Okay, so I just got... I've got like a month or two to watch Mad Max. Okay. Easy.
They use awkward vernacular. Oh yeah, it was post-apocalyptic, right? It's post-apocalyptic. If your post-apocalyptic movie is worried about being politically correct, I, I feel like I feel like you have missed the point. Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see. He did open Robo, he did open up Robo facility. Yeah, I think, I think Terran versus Protoss is just gonna be more difficult in general. And then Terran versus Zerg will probably be a little harder. And TVT, TVT should be easier. I think Terran versus Terran should be easier. I don't know where his observer is. I just gotta wait for this cyclone. It hasn't started yet, though, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna be in a bad spot because I just my build again. I don't know. I don't know how to play versus Protoss anymore. We'll have to refigure. We'll have to refigure it out. I think Protoss players will probably keep just spamming nothing but blink stalkers. So regular mech might be the way. The only question is how good the Ravens are gonna be at shutting down the uh, late game air transitions out of Protoss. But if they can do that, if they can at least shut down the late game air stuff a little bit, then I I do like I do like our chances. Because the upside, the traditional upside here is that the the mech style now you at least have the cheaper armory, so getting getting those upgrades, getting into a position where your units can kind of try to do what they need to do, it should be a lot easier as well. Yeah, it the cyclone harass is just a lot worse, really. That's it. This might be nice though. It's a pretty huge arc to cover to try and move out to take this base. So I think we need, we need like preliminary auxiliary bases to just build in between. I don't see, I don't see how we can just kind of safely creep up forward this direction. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
These tanks might be a little too spread out. But this third base is just super wide open, right? It's a very, it's a very, very open third. I'll take it. Damn. Man, losing the Raven like that definitely sucks, though. For real, for real, dog. Yeah, we already know money's tight. We already know that. There's no way to get to the outside, by the way, on this, is what I realized. There it is, baby. There it is. Big reinforcements, man. Big reinforcements. The nice thing about the Cyclone, even if it's a worse unit now, it's still better than a Hellion. I think I think I can say that much. At the very least, you can still crank out like eight of these guys behind your push, even if they don't do that much damage. Being able to rally out a bunch of these guys behind you is still going to be strong. Strong compliment to traditional mech play. Cause they they still function they still function better with the AI changes and the turret change. 
The damage, the extra damage was really, really nice. I will miss that a lot in the PTR, but they're not, they're not useless either. I forget that this map, the entire outside lanes are closed off. Yo, Diego Toss, thanks for the sub. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, and thank you, full cults. Appreciate it, man. That was a good game. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, right? You have the gold minerals here. You got to mine through three patches of gold minerals in order to get to the outside on this side. The same goes by the natural expansion, right? And then there's stacked minerals. This is the first time in StarCraft history we've had this. It's not It's not one connected rock. It's. Uh, it, it looks like they dialed it down, though. On the PTR, these were three rocks. On the PTR, it was three sets of rocks. Um, it looks like it's just two on the live version of the game. So they made it a little bit less crazy. They made it like 3% less crazy than it used to be, basically. It was, it was crazy before, though. Aside from that, there's still bases in the middle with the rich Vespine. So you can take the forward base and get the gas a little bit faster, but it's only one geyser. So long term, long term, it is less gas. It feels like you have to spread yourself out a lot here, which was my concern. He had a warp prism in this spot. And it's like, I don't want to have to make turrets here. But he, you know, if he goes, he can't go up here. And he, he might have actually been able to swing all the way around if he wanted to. I don't, I don't think this would have been enough to stop him. But that's my, my fear is that they come in here and kind of slip, slip through. I'll have turrets here and maybe something here. But he'll just kind of carve in where I... Because obviously I don't I don't need stuff in this location. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I need stuff in this location. But then when the time comes, if he obviously gets his prism over here, then that becomes a, a vulnerability that he can exploit. Now, I don't want him to exploit my vulnerabilities. I'm not interested in that at all. All right, let me, let's see, let's see. How are you guys, how are you guys liking the maps? Do they look nice? You're happy the patch is live? Yeah, I, I wish, I wish they had kept the Cyclone buff. I wish, I wish beyond wishing. I wish beyond wishing they had kept the Cyclone buff, but it, I think overall it's still a, it's still a really good, it's still a really good patch, so. It is still a great patch. And the numbers are officially out, ladies and gentlemen. The numbers are officially out. GameStop is no longer losing money. God bless America. They are officially a profitable company. All right, we got a game. Waiting for the day. Yeah, waiting for the day, man. I think today, I think today was an important day. I think today was an important day. The uh, company losing money is officially no longer a thing. So I feels that feels like as good a place to start as any.
I don't know what to do versus Protoss, though. I know most of them will just go blink. If the guy doesn't go blink, then I guess I should just go... Really, it's just tanks. Just go tank Raven. I just don't think we can harass them at all anymore. I still want to do the Cyclone drop. I just don't think it's that good. But maybe... Maybe I just got to get used to using the new one. It still kills probes in like four hits. So it's not... It's not terrible at harass. It's just a little bit less spammy. And the extra 20 health... The extra 20 health does matter. It takes two more hits to kill for a stalker. So... It's not... The worst. Ninja base map. Yeah, a lot of these look like they could be, right? Because he's just in the top right. It certainly feels that way. You had a funny game where a Terran flew his uh, command center to the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, U Thermal, U Thermal does that, and he, I think he does like challenges with his YouTube channel, where he gets he gets people to do crazy things like that. You know, he's like, this week I want you to go and lift your base up, and then then he's like, next week take your shirt off at Walmart and scream Zergo P. And I'm like, damn, he really is sloppy. I'm allowed to say that, so. The Zealot Scout. But it's a thing. Terran, Terran players, there there once upon a time used to be more maps with gold bases. There used to be there used to be more maps with gold bases. He's getting aggro. It's crazy how good stalkers are. Thankfully, it ends up being mostly for nothing. Oh, I see, I see. This actually is just a cheese, then. It's just a crazy cheese. That's all. It's, it's literally just, he's literally just all inning, that's it. Crazy, crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. Hey, hey, you man. I'll read your comment after the game. It's a little bit long, sorry.
Who is this guy? Somebody's having a giggle. <laughs> oh, did I do I deliberately talk more slowly than I used to? You know, you know, man, I am a very traumatized individual with a lot of baggage. And if uh, if I ever seemed crazier to you before than I am now, it is almost exclusively because I have spent a lot of time trying to seek help. It is difficult, expensive, and nobody really ever wants to talk to you about these kinds of things once you start. But that's uh, that's the truth. That's that's the simple truth. So I've calmed down quite a bit. I've calmed down quite a bit. My anger uh, has never really come from this game. I, uh, you know, I had a really hard life, and I'm very angry about that. And I'm trying to trying to get better about it. I have uh, I have been denied I have been denied certain comforts of a normal life that almost everybody gets, and it has uh, irreparably changed me in many ways. Every day I learn new ways that it has changed me, and I try to, you know, take more steps to hopefully hopefully be able to make something make something anyway out of my life. The aggro, the aggro though. It does not stop. It does not stop. GG bro, let's go next. I'm gonna dodge him and we'll queue up for another game. Half you, weekend dev. Everybody's everybody's dealing with it, right? Everybody's going through it. That's why we got to be kind to each other and ourselves. It's important. It's very important. Thanks for the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Yo, Vern. Good to see you, man. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate that. We're just searching for games. That's all we're doing. We're just playing the new SC2 patch today. I'm probably going to play until about 5 o'clock. That's in three hours from now. And that's it. We're just chilling. Thanks for hanging, guys.
we got a game. You got this weekend, Dev. You know that. We're pulling for you. We, Katie and I must have applied at so many places in the last six months. It's brutal out there. Wish you, wish you the best of luck, man. Looks like pool first, right? Yeah. Uh, little cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Little cheeky, cheeky here, huh? I mean, unless he's flooding a lot more lings across, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, he's just, it's just another, another like quasi cheese almost.
So the idea here is traditional double battlecruiser rush, but because the armory is so cheap, it doesn't really affect the build to squeeze it in. I'd like to get it faster. Like ideally, you, ideally we get this build to the point where the first two battlecruisers appear in his base with Yamato and plus one. Maybe maybe Yamato is asking for a lot because that, that particular upgrade just takes forever to research. But it feels like there's a few different ways that we can, we can kind of experiment at the end of the day it'll probably just be regular double armory being faster more than anything but i'm okay with that too I got all his overlords. He's cooked. Yeah, see that that plus one man that plus one is here fast Got him. Yo, Hanan, thanks for the prime sub, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys sub, no, no ads, and you can watch the VODs on Twitch. Otherwise, all the VODs are free on YouTube. God bless you. Thanks for watching. GG. Your client still shows the old maps? I mean, I don't know if the patch is out on all the servers. Usually they use America as the guinea pig to test, I think. I think the US server, nothing really important happens here. So I think I think that's a, a big one. I think that's a big one there. All right, guys, I'm just gonna uh, use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back shows 5013 well then i don't know what to tell you i'll be right back guys
Sorry, y'all went to grab a granola bar. I think this guy's a Zerg. Right? Yeah, he's a TBZ. TBZ. What the hell? Home. Am I sober? The guy the guy outside that passed me it. It was it was just it was just like cotton candy, right? This is the Zergling man, isn't it? It's either Lings or Queens with that setup. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I'm like, okay, there's the first lings, right? He doesn't even show up with speed is the weird thing. What you doing?
I just don't see a reason to step outside my base yet because he kind of took away his own economic access. So I feel like we get to three CCs, we just situate ourselves where we want to be, and we're not in we're not in a bad spot. So. Yeah, he's getting spores, spines, banelings, all that good, good. All of that good stuff. How long was he waiting to do that with no vision? What? 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 Is he just, what is he, what, what? Is it time for me to run ads? Should I take, should I take a 10th of a penny from this man? What you smoking, Bruja? He's crazy. Yeah, the biggest thing about the new patch is new maps. Otherwise, it's just a lot of quality of life. Lots of lots of quality of life stuff. Lots of quality of life, but that's that's really about it. Absolutely bizarre game. Yeah, I think I think he's ghosting, right? It just seems we ha he hasn't really done anything beyond just dive on us in the very few moments where we take a couple actions. I don't think there's anything anything serious we can uh, glean from a game like this.
Well, you just have to assume that he's just going to go Broodlords soon, right? Like, what else can he really do? Deny the creep as much as possible. There we go. Come to daddy. Yeah, that muted transition was not enough, thankfully. Whew. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it. Got him. Did he have like burrowed lings or something? The timing, the timing was absolutely silly. That the beginning of this game made no sense at all. What was his build? This is one probably one of those like American guys that just does the same thing every game, even though it makes no sense at all. Crazy. Absolutely wilded on this one. Yeah, he went hatch first to his own main base and then took the outside third. Oh, 
He gets his Baneling Nest, Afterling Speed, and then... Yeah, he just kind of chills here. Did I just have the worst timing? I think I just had the worst luck, right? I don't ever want to blame... I don't ever want to be, like, too sussy with that reason. He checks it a couple of times, but he doesn't he doesn't make his move until the moment that I get rid of it, but I think I think it was just the worst luck, right? Cuz he's already getting ready to attack, and at this point I'm still not aware of it. But I am about to leave my base for the first time. Yeah, and he comes he comes in at this exact moment that I do it, but I think it also lined up with when his banelings finished. So I can't I can't give him too much shit. I can't give him too much heat. The Cyclones are still pretty decent against the Lings. Especially if they just stand there and shoot, because the turret doesn't have to relock. so... I guess that's, like, the buff side of it. Defensively, they're better because of the health. Anyway, they can soak a little bit more damage. I mean, my Kirkland Signature Protein Bar. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Protoss guy. Is this the dude? Is this the dude that uh, did the stalker rush? The proxy outside my base or whatever? We'll definitely want the regular wall off this game if this if it's the same dude. That's the real best change of this patch. Yo, gassed up. What's up, bro?
Yeah, patch went live today. The Cyclone buff is not in it, so... Cyclones Cyclones are pretty bad, but aside from that, everything else went through, I think. They got rid of the High Templar buff as well. Now, why would he have nothing at all? We're about to find out. Wow, he recalled up there? Yeah, the Cyclone just does so little damage now. It got its DPS gutted by like 20%, I think. It's tough. It's tough. They made they made the Cyclone a lot worse. Oh, and he went DTs? You got me, bro. GG, let's go next. I'm just going to dodge him. All right, he's still in the game. He's still in the game. All right, he's out of the game. I'm just going to wait for him to queue up, and we'll search. Looks like it's live in all regions now. According to Verm in the chat, the patch is out on all the regions, guys. So you can check it out on whatever server you play. Yeah, dude just turtling crazy hard, right? All right, he's in a game. Let's go next.
All right, we got a game. It's another Protoss player. No idea, Adrian. Gotta ask a question for somebody else. They made it so much easier to punish throwing the probe into your base, though. A lot of Protoss players are going to give up on doing the probe, the probe harass thing. That'll probably be the number one benefit from this. Long term, anyway. Should be easier to beat cannon rushes, too, with the extra range. <laughs> yeah, gassed up. I think he's just venting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know.
Here we go. Not too shabby. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. They really, they really took this unit out of the game. That's unfortunate. I just don't think you can ever make them again, right? They just seem really, really bad. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any use for that unit anymore in the whole game. It's really unfortunate that they decided to delete a unit out of the game with this patch. I, I feel like nobody really asked for them to do the changes they did in the first place. And then they just... They're like, yeah, this new unit we redesigned is OP, so instead of reverting the change, we're just going to make it completely worthless. That kind of sucks. I got to figure out a whole... I, I, just can't, I just can't do Cyclones anymore, right? They're just the worst unit in the game, I think, now. They've been, they've been delegated to Reaper level of bad. Can't even kill five Zealots in the open field when I have plus one. And they have Dorito Cannon. That's just brutal. It's just brutal. Another victory for the OG. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we got a Zerg. Oh, it's this map. This is a fun one.
Oh yeah, this is a map. This is a map where opening Reaper would be pretty good, right? Because of that. Oh, he's already got speed. And he's taking off gas. What do you guys think? He's just probably on the other side of the gold patch, I guess. Is that it? This guy's smoking something too. Got that good, good. Yeah, lots of people play mech in pro tournaments. If you're seeing less of it this last season, that's just mostly because the maps are really bad for it. Most of the maps have been really, really bad for mech for a while. That's, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's I don't think there's too much else to read into. What you up to, cutie? He's making ravagers. It is fun to watch him go. Yes, 
Oh, the supply block is what's killing me here. I see. The easier access to the armory, though, is still really, really, really nice. He's going into mutas. Perfect. I got stuff, man. I got stuff and things. I got things and stuff. Your research has concluded. You see how fast that one one is too? It's freaking noise. Right, he's got to he's got to scout all those BCs he doesn't know about. I feel like we actually have enough to do some serious damage here. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good.
Look how many lings he has. where it gets real though, right? This is it. No, it's okay. That actually wasn't too bad. Nice hold. Thanks, cool person. What's going on? SCV ready. SCV ready. Yeah, what I need are the other upgrades. There it is. Just needed a whole ninja base on him. No biggie. No biggie. GG. Thanks, man. 
Thank you. <laughs> that was stressful. That was a stressful game. I mean, his opener. Let's just take another look at it, because I thought he was I thought he was cheesing me, right? I thought first I thought he went hatch first to the gold. And then he then I then it was I saw it was pool first, and I was just a little confused. I thought he was proxying at the start. I thought he was building his hatch here. I thought he was building it on the other side of my gold base. That's why I got that bunker at the beginning. I'm not I don't think there's too much you can do about Ravager spam. So you just you just kinda give that up, but if they try to proxy hatch you, then you do what I did. But look at this, yeah. Just gas pool. Straight up. I'm guessing that his entire strategy must center around the denying the gold mining with the Ravagers. Because otherwise, I just don't... It just doesn't make sense to even open with speed, though. Like, why open with speed and then do this? You know... That's really what confuses me. And he doesn't actually take the gold first, either. I guess he thought I was going to cheese him. He was a little paranoid. That's fair. If I saw a guy named Jigsaw on the loading screen, I'd probably be a little paranoid myself. Alright, I just got to use... Uh, I just got to get another glass of water. That's how I'm going to say it. I'll be right back. This will be a quick one.
I do love me some hydration. Let's go again. That game was fun. That got a little crazy. It got a little out of hand. Like things got a little things got a little tense there. The quest for glory begins. I've been vibing with this though. I feel like I feel like I just got to know the cyclone and it was taken away from me, but this is just the game reminding me that I need to go back to the tried and true. My bread and butter. The game is trying to tell me that I need I need to cruise. Or go back to that Thor Liberator Hellion style I used to do and just supplement them, supplement the clones into there. That might be better now with the cheaper armories. Who knows? Who knows? Is the season supposed to roll soon? Feel like feel like that's what comes next after this usually. Sometimes I just forget that I'm like married, you know? I'm like pretty happy, pretty happy about that. I don't know if that ever happened to you guys. Sometimes I'm just randomly like, huh, yeah, that was real. Cool. Done. 
started wearing I started wearing my ring when I stream and it helps. I used I used to think it was like uh, getting in the way of pressing keys or something. It's a nice way to kind of try to keep myself. What's that word? Present. That thing I'm trying to do more of. I guess I could squeeze a small handful of additional cyclones with this. So the way I'm doing the build this time, now look at it. By the time I get my first battle cruiser on the map, it's gonna they're gonna have one one. So that's that's kinda like upside, I suppose, that we're looking for. Two two is on the way before they're even finished. Boom boom doo -doo. He is taking all of his gas by the looks of things. So my expectation is kind of just turning into... What, Fast Spire, probably? His Nathanius senses go, go tingling. But look at this, my first push hits. These Battlecruisers are 1-1. One, one. Or plus one. Plus one attack. These ain't your granddaddy Battlecruisers. This is just nasty. Yeah, next season. The next ladder season, whenever they reset it, we might have to we might have to just see how high we can get again. But this is the upside, is that you can just have that armory, the armory being that much cheaper, it really does matter. It really does. Six HP. Plus two attack is done. Yeah, then my BCs already have plus two attacks, so they're very strong. Yeah, even the static defense isn't really a scare anymore. 
Nice. Let's go, baby. Oh, he was just, he was still retaking that base, too, by the looks of things. But you can just, you can get the armory. So, it's so cheap. That's the biggest buff. It's the biggest buff that we've gotten in a long time. I think the Cyclone nerf probably hurt more than this helps, but this does help in like so many different ways. Just 50 gas, just 50 gas for an armory is just huge. Absolutely huge. I love it though. The 50 Vespine difference, like, the thing the thing is, it's, like, everything snowballs. It's all about making sure that at the moment where I get the two star ports and the fusion core that I can build the BCs without delaying it. So it's, like, as soon as the factory is done and I start the star port, I don't really have to worry about the second star port or the fusion core until the first star port is done. Because the build time of the fusion core is why I don't just make two star ports immediately. It makes sense that I, I, I wait until the most efficient moment possible. So with that in mind, that's why the armory price change is so big because the investment to get plus one is like 200 gas, more or less. But it also takes time. So the earlier you get it, the more it delays you being able to build the star port and the second and the fusion core. And think about that, that's 250 gas. So suddenly, instead of needing what would it be like 450 to do this? Now it's like, well, now you just need like 350. Now you, now you just need 400. It's, it's just, that's a lot of gas that all that infrastructure takes up early on with the upgrade. So just being able to carve any little bit back from that helps, it smooths it over tremendously. 50 gas that early in the game is a lot. That's one of the reasons why the Cyclone kind of became a crazy unit, because they made it so you could build more of them. That wasn't too bad, though. That wasn't too shabby. I like that. Would you make mech upgrades cheaper as well? Well, like if I had God powers, if I was God. No, you know what I would do, honestly? If I had if I had the full ability to change the game any way that I want at all, period. I'd put every single unit in the game in its original version. And uh, I would just leave it. I'd leave it to burn. That's what I would do. All right, we got a Terran. This is our first TVT. Now, T TVT is interesting because you can't chain lockdowns anymore. You can't chain lockdowns anymore with the Raven. So, battle cruisers, battle cruisers in general should just be better in this in this matchup for that reason alone. At least, that's yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I make content about all sorts of RTS games, StarCraft, Zero Space, Stormgate. I was playing some of the alpha of Zero Space. They just launched their new phase last Friday. I was playing some of that on Friday and yesterday. 
definitely worth checking out. They've got a really cool game. I think they're going to have their first campaign content playable in their alpha. I think they said some point in the next two to three weeks. Or at least they said some point in the, during this phase. So there's going to be the first zero space campaign content out there. That's pretty cool. So if you guys are interested in RTS or retro games, I play a lot of older games too. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you press that follow button. Thanks for hanging out. Just looking for uh, proxy racks. I can see Terran players using this for like their cheese, right? The uh, this spot. Like you build three racks here, and then you just mine the wall through. It'd be a pretty difficult proxy to scout. There's one problem with that, Nathaniel. Oh yeah. It's physically impossible for him to get in here. Unless he took three SCVs and opened it on this side first. Touche, Nathaniel. You make a... You're, you're, that's true. I don't, think, I don't think he could build there. Fair. Fair. Got the mule. Sometimes it do be like that. Oh, we got another Cyclone. I guess at least they don't do that much damage. That was just canceled. Do see do. And that is why the new Cyclone sucks. 
This opener was brutal, though. Him still doing the cyclone drop? That was still pretty annoying. But I think we're okay now. Remember, he can't chain. He can't chain anymore, so it is viable for me to just send them across the map, too. I don't have to teleport them into his base. If he tries to chain interference matrix, even if he catches me off guard, I'm, I'm still gonna be able I'm still gonna be able to switch out of that, so. And we did kill a lot of stuff, so I think think we've we've made some headway. Made some headway. Well, that one, I think he's gonna get me, right? Maybe. Yeah, okay, that's fair, that's fair. I should've just dodged that one in the first place, probably. Probably was the move. I don't never clicked on that spot, whatever this is, but This will be a tough one. This will be a tough one. All right, it looks, it looks like he just wants to take this into the uber late game. So I think that's where we're going. I don't think I have too much of a say in this one.
Oh, the camera jump. I'm trying, boys. He's crazy. I think we're cooked. I think that first drop absolutely wrecked us way too hard. I do not I do not see a way out of this, but I'm going to try and just squeeze out a few ravens, see if I can get my mineral income up somehow and pray pray for a break here. I don't know that we're going to get one. I don't know that we're going to get one, boys. Go. I'll take it. He didn't get the base that time. What's going on? Go ahead. You've exhausted that Vespine geyser. I got a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those. Right? He's thrown away a few armies on us. We've thrown a few his way. I think we've done a pretty good job keeping it together. I think we're gonna lose, but this has still been really, really good. I need him to make a really, really, really big mistake. If he does that, maybe I can still win. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. The one thing he's done a great job of is he's been very consistent about doing these really big pushes. Every time, every time my BCs are out of position or right as I, right as I'm getting up to enough. He just has not given me the time. He has not given me the time I need.
GG, well played. I don't think there was anything else we could do. Let's go next. Well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll dodge him because I didn't really enjoy that one too much. But then I'll queue as soon as he's in a game. Thanks, guys. I'll let you guys know as soon as he's in a game and when we queue up. What do I think about the patch? There is uh, there's a video in the chat. Just uh, skip over the part where I talk about the Cyclone because they, they got rid of that stuff. They got rid of the Protoss and the Cyclone buffs. Everything else in the patch went through them, so you can just watch that. All right, he's in a game. We're good to go. We got a Protoss. The quest for glory begins. Bad news? Huh? Big jump. SCB ready. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Got him. No, I never have. I hope it was good, though.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to start playing on Linux again, I think, too. Gonna have to, gonna have to switch a few things back up. What's holding me back on this just a little bit? Was it the second mine? Yeah, I think the second the second mine was too much. The second mine did us in. I'm going. SCV ready. Bad news. Yeah, he's just chilling, right? Very defensive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He has the observer right on here. Let's go, baby. I got one kill. That's tough. On one hand, it's tough because you got the scout on us. On the other hand, most of my games versus Protoss never even get close to this long because they always all in me. So if this is what happens when I don't get all in, I think I'm okay with that. Right? Like, I don't think, don't think there's really anything to be upset about here. This has gone, it's gone fairly well, considering that usually my worst case scenario is a short game. So even if, even if he is ready and he's kind of turtling and chilling, I actually don't think it's that bad. Oh, he's just going straight into carriers.
Well, that wasn't really how I wanted things to go, but that's okay. Take it. Don't really have any BCs, but that's, you know, just a part of life, I guess. It's one of those things we have to deal with. Oh, he's taking the gold over there. I see. Go ahead. Upgrade ready. More. He hasn't even taken that base. Well, no, he doesn't want to build detection, so that's that's why he's in this predicament. Your forces are under attack. In the rear with the gear. Ah. Research I'm just lucky he didn't go Tempest, that's about it.
forces. Who called you? You might have exhausted that Vespine geyser. Four HP, baby. Oh, I got the obs. Beautiful, beautiful. Get the carrier, target the carrier, target the carrier. Yes, yes. No! <laughs> yeah, new patch isn't too bad, right? Being able to get the extra upgrades for the armory, I, re I, still, I still think that was, like, huge. I still think that was huge. And we know, base-wise, he's still pretty limited because of the way he's been expanding. Absolutely crazy game. Okay, let's see how it is. So he ate the whole he ate the whole entire left side of the map. I think we're dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he just clicks on all my stuff through the mini map anyway. Okay. I see. I see. He didn't have any spotter units or scout units or observers all game, but he's just another one of those guys who knows all the perfect moves, right? I think. I think we think we know. I think we know who we're up against here. We definitely got trolled. We definitely got trolled. But if he's gonna click on my stuff through Fog of War, there's nothing I can do, so I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get worried or upset about it. He just put an observer on it after I moved. Yes, sir.
We might still be able to pull it out. Oh my God, did we actually do it? Ooh. I guess I can't overkill with uh, interference matrix, so we can try that next. Oh, he's cooked. Whoo! I can't believe he expanded outside of my base here, though. That that doesn't make any sense. I thought he was I thought he was trolling me because he went carriers and had shield batteries outside my fort. I don't know why he wouldn't have gone Tempest first. Then the DTs everywhere, yeah. We did, we did get him to build some observers though. For a guy, for a guy who spent most of the game walking into Widow Mines, we did eventually get him to build some observers. I will take that. What a game. Yeah, no, that was, that was nuts. I'm going to queue up in another minute, okay, guys? We'll be right back. Whew.
All right, I'm back. Hey, everybody. Let's go next. Oh. Looks like we're still searching for a game. Okay, we just got one. Nice. We are against a random player. Thank you, Rydrick, for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Let's just, um, I don't know. What's the least stressful build I could do against a random player? What's the least stressful? I'm going to pretend he's a Zerg. That way, if he's not, I don't spend the first few minutes clicking all over the place. Can save, save myself some APM that way. Proxy two racks. Well, then we then we get to go next, right? That's the. There's no downside. There's no downside to losing. I just don't want to invest myself and then find out that that's not the game, right? If he's Terran or Protoss, then yeah, we'll probably lose, and that's okay. Yep. Yeah, the new maps are very different. Yeah, they change they changed the game a lot. They they like almost completely reworked it from the ground up. It's a very, very different game now. A lot of things to refigure out. Oh, it's a Protoss. He's a little pro towels. He is only just now getting his cyber core, though. So I think we're okay. Worth. Yeah, they're trying to get uh, they're trying to get people to reinstall the game and play it again. What's going on? That was the that was like the focus of this patch.
Yeah, the maps are a lot less open than we've had the last few seasons. They made a lot of really good changes. The hardest thing about this matchup, though, is with the Cyclone out of the game, dealing with Zealots is probably the one thing that's going to be the hardest, and that's why that's why everything has to just be about battle cruisers. I just don't I just don't know how I can deal with Zealots with Mech anymore. That's the only, that's the really the only thing. Hey, Kanger. Who are the top Terran players? Yeah, it beats me. I think Clem still. Clem and Maru. I don't think it's, don't think it's changed for a little bit. I don't know if you know who they are, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Maru. Maru is still the best Korean. And Clem. Clem is still the best European. They've been respectively at the top of their regions for mm, maybe like four or five years now. Yeah, just those guys. Hellbats or Zealots. Yeah, people say that. People say Hellbats and people say Zealots, but they never they never really have anything to show when they say that. I I have found in my attempts that Hellbats and, Ze and Hellions are not actually very good against Zealots. Especially, especially when you're getting hit with, like, a two base, like, eight gateway Zealot, like, charge lot prism all in. I think... That if I, even if I tried to rush up to like blue flame hellbats against that, I'm not actually sure that maybe the five or six that I could get would be enough. So, it's it's one of those things where if, if I saw somebody do it, I would be willing to believe it's possible. But as somebody that doesn't really have too many other people that play like me, I yeah, I'm I'm usually the only person that tries to push the limits of strategy in StarCraft anymore. Most most everybody else, they just kind of copy each other and do the same thing every game. Oh, no shield battery. Yeah, you gotta just take the probes. Now, you see, that's the whole point, though, right? That's the entire purpose. Because he has zealots. He has a setup to use them as well.
I think I got his observer, so that was nice. Yeah, I was pretty I was pretty excited for this patch because I do I do think this is the biggest breath of fresh air the game's had in a long time. And giving giving a buff against cheese stuff was also just a really nice nod to the people that still waste their time playing this game every day like me. Those those of us who try to play games longer than two minutes greatly, greatly appreciate the patch. It's okay. Rack him up. Absolutely bonkers game. Bonkers. Yeah, he's only got plus two. Sucks to suck. Alright, well we got plus three coming in, so that's nice. Well Yes, Commander. Roger. Touching you through. Damn. Again, ne no observers on the map. That's the second time he's just jumped me like that. Mind out of 
Research is ready. Yeah, he's trying to catch me. He's trying to catch me again. This time I just didn't leave his base, though. Kappa. He just brought himself back to me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Think we think we're getting it, boys. I mean, he's so broke. It's hard to imagine him having anything. Like, it's not going to be easy, because, again, this is the way that he's chosen to do things. But considering that he was a random player, I feel like we've turned this into a pretty decent match. Yo, Ray Rain. Bro, Cyclones suck now, man. You're, you're going to be you're gonna be very happy. You're going to be very happy. They completely neutered them, man, straight up. They got a little bit more health, but they do like 20% 20, 20 less DPS now. They crazy. Got him. I was gonna say, I was going to say, he's got a break eventually. No, he was he was random. I did not know what the matchup was when the game started, so that was as you might imagine a little bit little bit wild. Your biggest problem was the no tech lab, not really the unit itself. Yeah, that's fair. I I don't think they're as good in really any department as any of the previous versions. I think it is the worst cyclone that's ever been in the game. 
but people will probably still be able to defend like a single oracle or some some proxy stuff with one or two especially since they made it so that like worker pulls are a little bit stronger now especially defensively so there's there's a lot of things that have changed there's a lot of things to figure out um but yeah that's really about it that's really about it it's been pretty nice i mean really the maps the maps are a huge breath of fresh air that's got to be the biggest thing that i'm excited about the worker the worker buff was also really nice Just came into 15 BC, warp into GG, never fails to deliver. I got you. Your PM'd Ghost River is an insta ban. Which one is that? Ghost River? Is that the one? Is that the one where the sides are completely blocked off by the mineral patches and the like the entire outside of the map is closed off at the start? It has that big canyon in the middle. That's probably one of the most interesting maps. Maybe maybe there will be some Imba builds on them, but I will tell you that it's still pretty fun. The rush distance is apparently like 15 seconds faster than a standard map. Oh, that, yes, yes, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is an arena level cheese map. No, I, I think the first game I played today was on Ghost River against a Protoss player who did the... They built their gateway, like, in front of their natural, like, over here on that map. And they had the two... I, I mean, I got absolutely wrecked. They had two Zealots and two Stalkers at my natural before, like, three minutes. It was insane. That map also has the really wide open third base. The thirds here aren't too bad. There's still a lot of space out towards them. There's a lot of like nothing, but this map is interesting because you have the back door and then there's the other side of the back door. There's a pretty good value proposition for mining it. There's a pretty good value proposition for not mining it.
TVT, man. TVT always gets a little crazy. This has got to be, got to be up there in terms of matchup volatility, right? Oh, he's getting ready for those BCs he hasn't scouted. Now that I've called him out, he'll scan, right, Kappa?
Or do we suddenly care? Not enough, huh? What's going on? Go ahead. Who called you? Any new battlefield conditions? Any new battlefield conditions? You do? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, this guy was obviously ready the whole game. I don't, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything. Let's just dodge him. <laughs> The no scout, blind hard counter kind of stuff is just I'm I'm good. I'm good. If you think you know how he how he scouted it, that's fine, but I'm I'm good. Now they can talk about whatever they want. I don't care. If you guys think he cheated, feel free to make up your own opinions. I'm not I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't talk about. Nobody said anything that mean. It was a very suspicious game. That's all. I don't have anything else to add myself. Rule number one of moderating is when someone breaks the rules, you just time them out. And then if they got a complaint, you talk, you DM them privately or something, let them know what's happening. The worst thing, the worst thing that can possibly ever happen when you're moderating is to be having a back and forth in chat with someone about a rule they broke or that you think they might be breaking. It's time to kick because then off. the entire chat becomes full of you being like, stop that. And then the other guy being like, no. And then you being like, I'm going to time you out if you don't stop that unruly behavior. But then you see, the only thing that does is just completely obliterate chat for everybody else, right? We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want, we don't want the entire chat to be full of mod icons. Nobody wants that. Yeah, it's an anonymous guy on the internet, right? Could be anybody. Could be anybody. That is how it be sometimes. This guy is a Protoss player. I do not know what to do against Protoss. I do not know what to do. We're, we're still figuring that out. Now you see, 
an easy way to tell it got a troll in chat though right like the guy the insert more coins guy like i would if i were you i would mark him as a suspicious user but if you look at the way that his messages are written it's very deliberately like trying to keep the subject up but you can also tell the way he's writing his message he really wants me to respond to him and i am responding to him but this is mostly to give you an example of his comment if you look at the way he writes his comment and the fact that those are the only things he said in chat the whole day it's really easy to tell that he's a troll because he has literally had nothing else to say but to attempt to bring this up but if you look at the way he talks about it compared to everybody else he has he goes for a very specific angle to try and make you uncomfortable that's the kind of stuff you want to keep your eyes on because he assumes a tremendous amount with the things that he says. And if you're assuming things, you just make an ass out of you. That's that's what it means, so. It's not a good thing to do, guys. If you assume that everybody I play against knows who I am, you're an idiot. It's not an easy thing to hear, but it's true. I see he comes in with another assumption. I'm not barcoding, though. <laughs> How about you just ask? You ever thought of that? Or do you want to do you want to keep guessing and being told you're wrong? <laughs> is it is it import is it important to you that you keep saying incorrect things? Like I said, guys, like it's. It's very obvious when someone has a completely different tone than every single other person talking. Notice the quick uh, self-victimization on his part as well. Another really easy, easy way to tell a troll. He's going. He's going hard. He just insulted everybody in chat. That's kind of fucked up, man. Nobody else, nobody else has caused any trouble at all today. I'm just using you as an example of bad behavior. It's okay if you're embarrassed. You're the one being bad. <laughs> if anything, if anything, maybe the next time you open your mouth, you'll think about it with two seconds, what you're going to say. And some other streamer will be saved from having to attempt to educate you on basic, basic etiquette. You got to be careful what you say. And it's true. It's true. If Nathan says, if Nathan says, GG, let's move on, what do you do, guys? There's only one answer. If Nathan says, GG, let's move on, what do you say? There's on, there is only one answer. You're a good Terran player, and everyone in chat is so nice. See, he's learning. He's learning. All you have to do is talk talk when you're in chat like you want like you don't want people to hate you and then nobody nobody will tell you you're being weird, okay? It's simple. 
Look at this. Look at me go, baby. charge lots yeah we are we are cooked we are absolutely cooked you know i i got some people that are new to modding like they don't they don't really spend that much time on twitch so when uh when people come into chat that are good learning examples for me to call out i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that so that so my mods know what i'm talking about You learn not to defend opponents who you lose to? That's correct. You're learning. You are. You have to be on my side. That's you're in my house. Look how far, look how far he's come. Look how look how much progress we've made in the span of an hour. Now he's being nice. He's not trolling anymore. Life is good. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a really tough hold. Actually, not too bad. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. This guy's playing a video game angry. Yeah, he's got a lot. Of, he's up, he's way up on me. My brother in Christ right now is playing one of the best video games ever made. And he's complaining. He's crying to me. He's playing one of the best RTS games of all time. And what does he do with his, what does he do with this opportunity, the gift? He cries. That's tough, that's tough. Well done. No, I think that's the only guy who's even gotten like timed out today, like even a timeout. I apologize if that was a lot for you guys to witness. I understand. I understand it can make people uncomfortable to witness a child scold in a public place. Watching a child get scolded for bad behavior in a public place can make a lot of people uncomfortable, so if I did make you uncomfortable there, I would like to formally apologize. It's true. All you have to do to not get banned is be a nice person. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have called him out if uh, if Jimmy James wasn't here. I would have just banned him, but it seemed like a it seemed like a good opportunity to educate educate a mod on on how like uh, high level griefers work anyway. The intentionally like line towing comment and then the oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, this is really uh streamer is so mean. And I'm like yeah, man, because you came in here and shit on me, idiot. Just don't do that. I don't forgive you. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody nobody cares. Everybody's already forgotten about it. I'm just going to dodge that guy since he was rude, and uh, we'll, we'll play another.
No, he knew exactly what he was doing. Thank you for the sub, Warrior Blossom. I appreciate it. Yeah, as soon as this guy is in-game, I will uh, queue for a match. But I'm not interested in playing against someone who's going to disrespect me like that. So I'm just going to wait. <laughs> Stream plus training sesh for new workers. It's true, though. It's true. Apparently, they're putting Diablo 4 on uh, Game Pass. That's kind of wild. I thought it would take a little bit longer for uh, Blizzard to start doing that stuff. Favorite pizza? My favorites are pepperoni and any good plain or like just plain cheese is really good. All right, that guy is still uh, searching for a match. Okay, he's not in a game, so I'm just gonna search. And if I get against him, I'm gonna just leave. So just so everybody's expectations are set correctly. If the encoder guy wants to apologize to me, I'll be more than happy to play against him again, but I'm not, in I'm not interested in uh, platforming hate, so we don't do that here. Thoughts on margarita pizza? I don't have any thoughts. The words margarita pizza mean absolutely nothing to me. I have seen, I have seen, I have seen the words margarita pizza used to describe so very many pizzas that are different from one another that I find the, the phrase margarita pizza is a completely meaningless. It doesn't mean anything at all, like to me, because it is, it is, it is not a, there is, there is no standard for what that means. Some people think a margarita pizza is just a regular plain pizza, like, dough, sauce, cheese. But that is not like, yeah. So it's hard, it's hard to answer, it's hard to answer. But if I'm just getting like a regular pizza, as long as I know it's gonna be good, I'll do, I'll do just cheese or pepperoni. The problem with putting more stuff on it is you get, it gets really extra, it gets like a lot more greasy, right? That's one of the, I don't ever put like bacon on my pizza for that reason. As much as I love it, it's like once you once you start putting multiple fried or fried meats like that on top of your plate, it gets crazy. I've had hot, I've had hot honey on chicken wings and that is very good. That's very good. Yeah, I've had I've had hot honey on chicken wings. That's fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Got a corner hit? Hell yeah, hell yeah. You're a huge pizza nerd. You've got a pizza oven and make them every other week. Dude, that's awesome. Now I've only, the only hot honey dishes that I've tried is, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wingstop. Wingstop has a, a hot honey seasoning that they you can get, and that is incredible. That is that is the best. It's, it's, it might be the best flavor they have. It might be the best flavor they have, hands down. Yeah, this man's got a dedicated pizza oven. Seriously, oh my goodness. Do you need a live-in maid? Are you cool if I still stream five hours a day? Can I make a? Can I? Can I have pizza? I'll clean everything else. I got you.
Rain, rain's out there spreading the good word. You don't have to guilt the man. I love you, though. Thank you. Wow, I got someone out here batting for me? I'm not used to that. I'm sorry. You just wanted to see some battle cruisers. That's fair. Would it make you feel any better if I told you that because my opponent is Zerg, I get to make even more battle cruisers than I otherwise normally would? That may be that may be a selling point for the rest of this particular game, anyway. I also put stop sign emojis on the ground next to my opponent's bases, so you know there's there's that as well. What is he? What is this? He sent out a drone to stop me from expanding? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go next. We'll we'll try to get a Zerg. We'll try to get another Zerg. It'll be okay. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to play versus that cheese. Whatever. I'm not doing that. Thank you for the sub, Nine. I appreciate that, 9K. Thank you, thank you. You have been robbed. You have been robbed. Well, to be fair, he robbed you. I was never going to be able to build BCs on one base, so it just wasn't going to work. You can blame him. If it makes you feel better, we did just queue against another Zerg player. It is a different Zerg, so I think... That because of the map, we can wall this off, and it should be pretty easy to expand. So we can do that. We can do that. He's the wolf of Twitch chat. Well, we have another TVZ, except the difference is there's a chance this guy isn't one basing. So. If you want your battle cruisers, you better start throwing up your Hail Marys. Yes, but this is like the perfect base for it. This is the perfect map for it. Yeah, this is the double base map. You can get a lot of battle cruisers. You can get a lot of BCs on this one. What's going on? SCV ready. Go in the rear. Huh? Yeah. Go ahead. What's going on? SCV ready. Twenty-two cruisers, that'd be nice. And then just because it is it is a barcode Zerg player. On some level, on some level, we stay, we stay ready. Man of science. Okay, he's just got a few slowlings, nothing else.
22 BCs would be nice. That'd be a good number. That'd be a good number to hit. All right, everything's going swimmingly. All according to plan. Punch it. Plus one attack is done. My BCs have plus one, by the way. He's cooked. His queens are off creep. It's ogre. I told you you'd get battle cruisers. Hey, hey, why do you think I leave? Why do you think I, why, why would I instantly leave against somebody that's cheesing me? It's because even if I win, we don't get BCs in those games, okay? They hardly count. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so important to get a couple of cheeky builds like this together, because they are good. I did promise you more than just a few battle cruisers, however. I can't promise if he can't keep it up, though.
I got plus two attack on my BCs now. Win is still a loss in that scenario. Exactly, exactly. Battle cruisers, man, they're amazing. GG. Slaughtered him. He was going for neural. He was getting plus one. He already had plus one attack. I had plus two attack done. My plus three was almost done. Like, you're gonna be able to build an armory. You're gonna be able to build an armory whenever you want on this patch. Like, to me, that's got to be one of, like, the single biggest awesome things about it. It's just nice. It is just nice, man. I love to see it. I absolutely love to see it. Well, how many BCs did we end up with? Six. Maybe not the number. Maybe not the number that chat wanted, but it was the number. It was the number that we were, you know, that we deserved, I guess. That's what we were able to get. I do think that's going to be it for the stream today, everybody. I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who tuned in, hung out, etc. I really appreciate you guys. And I just want to uh, say that means a lot to me, yo. That's still a crap load? <laughs> yeah, thank you. It means, it means a lot to me. And sorry about roasting the guy in chat earlier. Look, this is my house. You don't have to like me. No, I'm never going to tell you that you have to like me. But why, why would you talk in chat if you don't? Like, it's not that hard, guys. Be nice. I love you. See, see you tomorrow.